Let's take a look at variables. Variables are named pieces of data that you can use in your code. In MATLAB, variables are declared using the assignment operator or the equal sign. Here is a simple command to declare a variable named a with a value of 10. The name of the variable should be on the left hand side of the equal sign. The value of the variable should be on the right hand side of the equal sign. The command will be executed when I press the enter key. Notice that when the variable is created, it appears in the workspace. You can double click the name of the variable in the workspace to launch the variable explorer, which displays the value of the variable. Notice how the explorer looks a bit like a spreadsheet. This is because MATLAB was made to work with matrices, something we'll be doing a lot of once we start working on images. Valid variable names in MATLAB must start with a letter. It can contain numbers, but cannot contain any special characters apart from the underscore. Also, capitalization matters in MATLAB, so lowercase r radius is not the same as uppercase r radius. I suggest that you give your variables descriptive names. For example, if you are defining a variable representing the radius of a circle, I would name it radius instead of r. This will really help when it comes to trying to understand what different variables do in a long piece of code. To override the value of variable, simply assign a different value to that variable. Going back to MATLAB, let's say I assign a value of 20 to variable A. Notice that in the workspace here, um, the value of the va variable A has now been updated to 20. Just take note that MATLAB does not warn you if you're overriding variables, so be very careful about using variables with the same name in a piece of code. Finally, to clear variables that you have declared, use the command clear vars. Notice that all the variables have now been removed from the workspace.